Hey guys, this is Social Fire, and I'm back today with the EZA for Tech Super Saiyan 3 Go Tanks. So, um, basically, this is my highlights from stages 1 through 30. And I chose to run this with an intelligence team, basically. Um, the advantages for this EZA are youth category and super intelligence units. And if you saw my previous summons, I did not pull Kid Goku, so a youth category was not happening. Um, this is basically what I found that would work and luckily got me through the first 31 stages, um, which really wasn't that big of an issue. It wasn't too difficult until that last stage. Uh, so with this team, I included obviously LR Vegito's lead, him and Gohan both have that 90% to super intelligence types. I just chose to go with um, LR Vegito and I included LR Gohan here because he is an intelligence type and he falls into the youth category. So this was a great unit for this EZA. I also included units like the free to play intelligence Gotenks and Ghosts because he is an orb changer. So I figured he could help out Gohan and LR Vegito. I included Super Saiyan 3 Bardock, Ultra Instinct Goku, which actually came in helpful later on, and then also Super Gogeta. So again, this is the team that I used here. We'll go over some of the basics though. So uh, we already talked about the units that have advantages. Now the first three stages, uh, pretty much basic stuff, always very simple there. You'll pick up metals, hidden potential orbs. Four through seven is when he gains additional damage reduction of 50% against agility types. Eight through nine, he'll gain additional damage reduction of 60% against agility and strength types. And then 10 through 12 is when characters that are SSR or lower can only cause less than 2 million damage. Stages 13 through 19, additional damage reduction of 70% against agility, tech, and strength types. And then 20 through 31 basically is additional damage reduction of 80% against agility, tech, strength, and all extreme types. So again, this team did fairly well here. Luckily, it got me through it, like I said. Um, Eller Gohan really being the star here. Uh, it's funny, because some of these EZAs, I feel like um, sometimes I have great teams for it, and it's just a breeze and no problem at all. I love clearing additional stages, but there's other ones, um, like these past two that we've had, where I'm just putting together the best team possible to make it by to get the Dragon Stones and <laughs> Awakening Medals and Orbs. Um, for instance, like Family Kamehameha previously, I basically relied on Agility Tapping on the whole time to get through that. And this one was um, a slightly better situation for me. Like I said, Elder Gohan really powered me through this. So I would have loved to run a youth category, but I just couldn't justify summoning too much for Kid Goku with everything coming up. But like I said, luckily this wasn't too tough and I enjoyed it. I mean, obviously you get the 30 Dragon Stones, Every five stages, you get Elder Kai's. Um, I believe it's stage five, you get one tech Elder Kai. Stage 10, you get one tech Elder Kai. Stage 15, you get two Kai's. Stage 20 is two, and then stage 25 is two, and then stage 30, you actually get three of the Kai's, um, which is usually the case there. And then anything after 31, you're getting Zenny or uh, the Hercule statues, rather. So by completing the first 30 stages, you get a total of um, the 15 bronze awakening medals, 40 of the silver, 30 of the gold, and 30 of the platinum, as well as 5,200 small tech orbs, 4,000 medium orbs, and 360 large orbs. So the missions for this are fairly easy as well. Um, you have win the extreme Z battle with one minute and 20 seconds at level 10 or higher with one dragon stone. Win the extreme Z battle within two minutes and five seconds at level 20 or higher with two dragon stones. And then win the extreme Z battle at level 20 or higher with a character from the youth category on your team. I'm definitely glad it just required one character from the youth category. Um, personally, I don't have a ton of very strong units in the youth category right now. Like I said, I tried to include what I could on this team, which was best, basically uh, Gotenks and Ghost and LR Gohan here. Now, I did mess up once or twice as well as far as collecting key and stuff, but overall, 
really up to level 25 was very simple. Like pretty much the only time I even started struggling was level 30. Uh, that was the only time I died was on stage 30. And I think it took me two or three times to clear it. I kind of had to adjust my strategy toward the end. Um, but throughout the first parts here, I would get down to like half health as you can see right here. Um, but it was still pretty doable. And like I said, I relied on Eller Gohan and Eller Vegito here to do a lot of damage. Also, Eller Vegito will occasionally dodge attacks, which came in handy, and they're pretty good tank in general. Um, try to keep Bardock out of um, too many hits there. He's not the best tank overall. Like I said, Gold Tank is a ghost. He really didn't cause a lot of damage, but luckily he didn't take a lot of damage, which was helpful. Um, he was able to take decent super attacks because he did have both advantages here. And like I said, he is an orb changer, so he did help out in certain instances there too. So it's interesting that we actually got this easy. I know a lot of people have been waiting for Janemba, um, so I have no clue when that one's actually going to drop. But I pretty excited to see this one drop too. Uh, I personally use the physical Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks most of the time, but Tech Gotenks getting this easy A here, he's really good once he gets this. Um, I believe I did a previous showcase on him, so if you haven't watched that, you can definitely check it out and get an idea of how he is with this easy A. And I'll be sure to link it in the description as well if you'd like to check that out. Soldiers and Goku here, he did decent damage. He didn't do the most damage at times, but um, one thing that came in handy for me is the fact that if he transforms, he dodges attacks, which, like I said, really helps me out in a few minutes, which we'll see later on. And personally, for the most part, I did go with double LR Vegeta leads just out of habit, but I changed that up for the last stage and actually got a friend lead that was also LR Gohan. Um, which helped out a lot because, like I said, that is a great unit for the CZA. Personally, looking back on it, I would have just done that throughout. It would have really helped. I mean, it, overall though, this this wasn't too bad. This I wouldn't say this was one of the harder ones by far. It's definitely one of the easier EZAs that we've had. Still looking forward to when we get Janemba though. I really, really want to awaken my Janemba. I don't have tech Super Saiyan 3 gold tanks, so I was just doing this mainly for the stones and Kai's and then potential orbs. Always a bonus there. Now there's a lot of different strategies you can use. Um, most people who pulled Kid Goku are usually running a Kid Goku team. With uh, Eller Gohan, he like I said, he's great for this. Um, Super Saiyan three, there the Ghost and Gold Tanks unit here, the free to play unit is actually decent for this as well. Um, you could use units like the uh, Super Intelligence Super Saiyan Goku Junior would be great here, or even the physical units. Um, you have like the Giant Ape Kid Goku could work, and then. The physical Super Saiyan Gotenks, who I do have, but I couldn't really run him on this team. He would be another good one as well. And it probably would have been much easier. So, personally, like I said, this worked out, but it did take me a little longer at times. Um, some other units that are actually great for this as well. You have that free-to-play Super Intelligence LR from Super Battle Road, Goku. He could be great for this. I definitely need to build up more of these units. <laughs> Luckily, I had enough to make this work. Um, originally, I thought about trying a Tara team, but I just ran a super intelligence team, basically. So we're getting into the last part of this here. And like I said, the last stage really did take two or three tries. It was the only time I started dying. Um, we have our Gohan with an ultra super attack, which helped out a whole lot. Just getting into the last, last part. And obviously, um, the free to play Go Tanks and Ghosts, he was able to take some damage pretty well, which helped out. 
I kind of lucked out with this last one to be honest. It got really down to the wire as you'll see toward the end. It was close, but at least I was able to complete it with this team. Um, this rotation, for instance, we have uh, Alar Gohan, which was I mine. The previous one was the friend lead. So having him in there twice really helped, and that's what I did on the last part. Alar Vegito here, and then Super Saiyan 3 Bardock. I tried to get just as much damage as I could with LR Gohan and Kosop and him and then LR Vegito as well. And I was just praying that um, <laughs> if there were attacks it would be on LR Gohan or Gotenks and Ghost. Or that LR Vegito would dodge it. Alright, so LR Vegito toward the end really wasn't doing as much damage either, but it still got the job done. I mean, it's still not bad. It was like 1.1 without criticals. All right, so coming up into this next rotation, this is what really helped out with Ultra Instinct Goku here. He transformed, which definitely saved my butt a bit because he was able to dodge a bunch of upcoming attacks. And then my friend lead for Elder Gohan was back around too. So this rotation, my health is getting low and I'm like, okay, I, I have to do it this rotation or I'm gonna die. So I kept uh, Goku up front because I knew he was gonna dodge these attacks. So that, like I said, that really helped out. He was able to dodge any of those and keep me alive a little longer. <laughs> and then we have Elder Gohan stepping in and he's bringing the heat here. And like I said, he really made this EZA doable for me. I mean, I love this unit in general, but definitely helped me clear it since I didn't have a strong youth category team. So that is how I beat stages one through 31. I would love to hear your strategies below as well. You can let me know what teams worked for you, especially if you were in the same situation and did not have like a solid youth category and had to go with like a plan B option. So anyways, guys, that pretty much wraps it up for today. If you haven't already, be sure to like and subscribe, and I will see you next time with another video. Thanks.